In this tutorial, you will learn how to combine the identification methodology with Graphics Atlas to identify prints and photographs in your collection. Graphics Atlas is an online resource that presents an object-based approach for the identification and characterization of prints and photographs. The site has three main sections, Guided Tour, Compare, and Identification. From the home page, you can enter any of these sections by clicking on the tabs at the top or one of the labeled images below. Once you've entered each section, there are three ways to access the objects on the site. First is the Browse, which offers a list of processes organized under four categories, pre-photographic, photomechanical, photographic, and digital. Clicking on the process name reveals a sublist of objects on the site made with that process. So, selecting albumin gives a list of 14 different albumin prints, all of which have shared key identifying features, but also have some characteristics that are different from one another. Clicking on the object name brings up that object. For example, we are in the guided tour section and clicking on albumin landscape takes you to the guided tour for that object. Browse is useful if you are just browsing or if you already have an idea of what process your object is made from and want to look at an example on the site. In the timeline, processes are organized by date. Selecting a process name also gives a list of objects on the site which can be selected to bring up that object. The timeline is useful if you have a date associated with your object and you want to narrow down the process possibilities by date. The search is useful if you are not sure of the process and need some help narrowing down the possibilities. The search is designed to follow the identification methodology and uses the controlled vocabulary for key identifying features. As you can see, it's organized by object view, surface view, and magnification view. Following the methodology, each view has a list of key identifying features best observed using that mode of looking. So under object view, we see primary support, image color, and image deterioration. Under surface view, we have surface sheen, and under magnification view, our image structure and layer structure. Each key ID feature has a list of terms which appear in either a drop-down list and or as checked boxes. The terms are visually defined in the visual identification guides. You can click on the links to open the guides as PDF files that can be viewed on the monitor or downloaded and printed. There are guides for image color, image deterioration, surface sheen, image structure, and layer structure. What you do is compare your print to the visually defined terms in the guides. For example, compare the surface sheen of your print to the guide for surface sheen. Then, select the term that best fits your object in the search function. You can select one term from the dropdown and one or more terms from the checkboxes. So for example, under surface sheen, a print might be glossy and have iridescence. As you make selections, the search function will filter out objects that do not have the features you have selected. This leaves only objects that do have your selected features and match your print. Notice the results may contain more than one object on the site made from one process, as well as objects from more than one process. This search gives us seven results. There are three albumin prints, a silver gelatin print that is toned, and two Woodbury types. If you have a date for your object, you can refer back to the timeline to further narrow down the options. So if you know your print was made in the 19th century, it's probably not a selenium toned silver gelatin print. Now from the search function, you can select an object and learn more about it in the guided tour or compare sections, or learn more about that process in the identification section. Let's first look at the guided tour. Guided tour takes you on a tour of that object. It shows you characteristics that are specific to the object, as well as those shared amongst all objects made using that process that is, the key identifying features. It pairs images illustrating each characteristic with text that describes why the object bears that characteristic. If you click on the images, they are enlarged, allowing you to see them full screen. Moving on to the compare section, you can virtually compare two objects on the site using three different lighting angles and varying levels of magnification. 45 degree or even illumination and no magnification allows you to make object view observations like image color. Zero degree specular light and no magnification allows you to see the surface sheen and make other surface view observations. The video also shows surface characteristics. Increasing magnification with 45 degree light allows you to see magnification view characteristics like 
image structure. The fourth button is equivalent to 10x magnification, similar to what you would see with a 10x loop. The next button is 30x magnification, and the last is 50x magnification, simulating the level of magnification achieved with a pocket microscope or a stereo microscope. Magnification in raking light allows you to see layer structure characteristics. That is, do you see paper fibers? And if so, where is the image in relation to the paper fibers? This view can be compared with the edge button that shows a cross section of the object, giving you an illustration of the layer structure for that object. You can also view the back of the object by selecting the back button. What to notice points out key identifying features and other important characteristics. As you click on the features, it changes the lighting angle and magnification, showing the best view to see that characteristic. And these images can also be enlarged. Finally, the identification section provides comprehensive information on key identifying features and other important characteristics of each process. Let's look at the albumin page. When you enter the ID section, you first land on the Overview tab. Overview provides common use dates and key identifying features of the process, which are illustrated below. It provides other processes that are commonly mistaken for this one, so it's possible to mistake an albumin print for a salted paper print or a collodion POP. Finally, there is a description of the process. The rest of the ID tabs are organized using the methodology Object View, Surface View, and Magnification View. Under each tab are features that are observed using that view. Entering the object view, you see features visible with even illumination and no magnification, such as the type of support, image color or tone, and deterioration, as well as other characteristics like common formats and finishing techniques. Each feature has detailed text that describes why the process bears each feature. So under image color tone in the albumin page, there's a description of the range of image tones seen in albumin prints and why they look that way, describing everything from toning to deterioration. The what to look for in the blue box provides a quick guide. It points out what to observe for each feature without a lengthy description. Below the what to look for are illustrations of features described in the text. The images all have captions and can be enlarged. The last tab is variations. It provides information on important variations of each process. Here it describes matte albumin and collodion glazed albumin prints. The identification methodology provides a step-by-step -step approach to looking at prints and photographs for identification. The observations made using the methodology can then be applied to Graphics Atlas, particularly in the search function, which narrows down the possibilities. Then, the images and information provided in the guided tour compare and identification sections will help you succeed in identifying the objects in your collection.